I'll be honest, the only reason I really started going to the gym was because I wanted to look more attractive for the girls out there, more specifically my girlfriend who had a massive crush on a certain movie star, and I thought having a physique like that would fulfill my goal of feeling good about myself. It's now years later, and I've learned there is much more that goes into this, but I would be lying if I never said building a body that you are proud of doesn't play a part so in today's video what we're going to do is outline five aesthetic guidelines to really make your physique sort of stand out from the crowd and really have that aesthetic look to it so number one too many people out there are just chasing the v taper physique and if you don't know what that is it's basically the dimensions of how your body looks so you aim to have like bigger shoulders and bigger lats and in doing so it gives your body that v sort of look but in reality to really have a truly aesthetic looking physique you need to more ideally be looking to chase after the X frame physique, which is basically the level up from the V taper. Because if you look at it, this is an X frame physique. As you can see, the top section here is basically a V. So that'll be your shoulders here and the small waist is basically where it intersects. However, as you can see, there's extra areas down here. And this is basically your legs. And the same way how people always say, build up your lats and build up your delts and build up your shoulders, because that will make your waist look narrower in comparison, which is very, very true building up your legs will also complete that if i put pictures on screen right now of someone that has like the v taper above but their legs are like twigs it doesn't make the waist look as small as it could be whereas if you see the physique coming to the waist and come back out again for the quads and the legs it naturally makes your eye think that the waist is smaller so next up your body fat has to be low like if you're watching this video and you're high body fat and you're fairly fat Talking about aesthetics is out of reach for you right now because it doesn't matter how many of the other tips you actually follow to the T. Your key thing is to lower your body fat. All right, the next tip, when it comes to looking aesthetic, one of the first muscle groups you think that you need to really build up to actually have this look is train your abs loads and loads. But the, ironically, abs isn't even on my main list of say three exercises that you should really focus on at this stage. I will touch on abs later on in the video because they are important to build that overall look. However, they're not one of the key areas you should be focusing because at the end of the day, we all have abs. It's not a case about revealing them. Whereas to have that muscular build, that aesthetic physique, you gotta actually make sure the proportions look correct. So first up in these list of three exercises, I'm gonna say you need a very good, strong rowing back exercise. Something along the lines of a chest supported row or even a barbell row. It all comes down to your preference. Personally, Putting ego to the side, a chest supported row for many people is somewhat superior because in a typical barbell row, when you're rowing, you have to lean forward and sometimes your lower back or core may give out before your back does. So it means you can't lift as heavy as you could. Whereas with a chest supported row, because you got the assistance of the machine, you can really focus on squeezing your back and really making sure it's getting worked to its maximal, <laughs> maximal and really make sure that it's really being worked as much as it can. And just so you know, I have purposely started with back simply because Nearly every time I've ever asked a girl in my life, what body part do you like the most on a man? The most common answer I've got is they like a guy with a nice back, which is funny because younger TJ would have never thought this. I would have instantly assumed it was arms and abs because those are the things that's on the magazine and in the movies. So for them to say back, I was like, right, gotta get myself a good decent looking back so making sure your routine incorporates a really strong solid rowing back exercise will really bring up the details in your back it'll give you more thickness and it'll just make you have that more broader look when you're wearing t-shirts and clothing in general and for those of you wondering the reason why i haven't mentioned the og classic aka the pull-ups is simply because Many people out there, especially over the age of 25, cannot do a single pull-up. And I want to make sure you actually watch this video and can take away things that you can actually do. Like a pull-up is a great exercise. However, it comes with restrictions. One, it's very hard to do. And two, many people do not do them correctly. They'll either do the form wrong, they'll do keeping pull-ups, or they simply aren't strong enough to really control it and squeeze their back. Next up, the incline dumbbell chest press. The incline hasn't got to be crazy. Too many people whack it like 45 degrees and above. A 30 degree incline is more than enough. And most of all, this exercise in combination with the back stuff, <laughs> the back stuff, in combination with the back exercises that I mentioned, it's just going to round off your physique. So when you're wearing a t-shirt, you have that more 3D broad look rather than like a very thick back and then like a very dipped in chest. And a bonus tip here is if you're someone that naturally has more of like a flabby sort of chest, the more you build in the incline is the more it's going to start kind of making it fill out and look a little bit more muscular rather than just chunky and flabby. Next up, heavy squats. And obviously the word heavy is relative. So that doesn't mean you got to go whack on the bar and do four plate squat. I'm just saying 
challenging for you. So if you're doing a weight and you can probably do 20 reps or more, chances are that you could probably increase it. And it doesn't have to be just the barbell. It can be the hat squat or even Perfect. the Smith machine squats. Like don't sleep on them. You know, I think even Chris Bumstead, like Mr. Olympia, says he prefers using the Smith machine over barbell. So it's a very good exercise. Just do not be one of those people though that put their clips on either side of the Smith machine. All right, the next tip, if you're Mr. Couch Potato, and you're talking about, I want to look lean, I want to look a steak. But you know, you're someone that would rather drive six minutes to the store than walk the 15. If you're that type of person, you need to change that shit about you. You can't just expect to go to the gym and train for 60 to 90 minutes, doing mostly weight, and think you're going to come out looking lean. Unless you're naturally genetically predisposed to having a low body fat. Because at the end of the day, you can't be sitting on your sofa all day looking at pictures on Instagram. You have to do more. You need to be more active. So pick up a sport with your friends on the weekend. Or if you're someone who doesn't like sports, just walk around more. Like I mentioned, this can easily allow you to keep a lower body fat much easier rather than living on a treadmill or a stepper or any sort of gym equipment. Obviously, that is also another way to go about it, which I do a mix of both. I try and walk as much as I can, but I also have a treadmill at home, which also, when I'm trying to stay lean, makes it a lot easier. So you need to get to that point where you actually actively use your legs. Next up, muscles that I truly think you should not overlook because these, in my opinion, I rarely see people training them. So personally, one of the three I think you need to work on is, and I'm going to butcher the name, the brachialis, which is basically in between the bicep and the tricep. If you think of any of the anime characters throughout history, Goku, Vegeta, I'm just naming Dragon Ball Z, but in general, the more you build that little muscle there, the more separation you get in your arm. And it doesn't even matter if it's, if it's only a slight line. All it takes is that little line and it makes your arm look way bigger. Next up, the rear delts. So many people in the gym love to hammer out lateral raises so they can get like that kind of popping action from the front and even front delt raises. But the rear delts, they're like the unloved triplet. Many people tend to overlook them or barely train them at all. And so for that reason, on many people, they're very underdeveloped. But well popping rear delt can really make your whole shoulder look like a boulder. And another reason why you really should hit them that's not as vain as trying to like just look muscular. It really does help your posture. If you're someone that, I don't know, a student or you work in an office and you're constantly always hunched over your desk on a keyboard, the more you build your real delts, the more it naturally tends to improve your posture. It brings your shoulders in a better alignment. So when, as promised, I said I was gonna speak about abs. So you need to get in a decent and weighted ab exercise. So whether you wanna do a decline crunch where you got on a decline bench and you hold a weight and you kind of curl up, or if your gym happens to have a crunch machine where you kind of hold above you and you squeeze down, Anything like that really is going to help build your abs. Then if you're someone that really in particular needs needs to focus on the lower abs, you can do things like hanging, knee raises and leg raises. These are a little bit more challenging and may require you to kind of build your core strength first. But those for me have been crucial. I can be really high in body fat and my top four abs will show because of years of me hitting them with weights. Because the key thing is when you use weights on your abs, it's like every other muscle. It's going to get more dense. And the more you do that, the more blocky your abs will look, which means that you don't have to be as low in body fat for you to see it. Because the more blocky your abs look, the more they can poke through the fat. And finally, traps, traps, traps. Having a nice, I should have watched Stringer. Having a nice meaty trap, it naturally makes you from the front just look that much more I don't want to say domineering because that sounds like a bad thing or has bad connotations, but it just naturally makes you look more masculine looking. Like you're going to look more like a man if you have these meaty ass traps that go with like a decent sized shoulder. So that's the key thing about the illusion of building a physique. So you have to make sure you work on certain areas to make sure that it's like working smarter, not harder, making sure you address the areas that pay off the biggest benefits. Hopefully with these tips, you've learned something new out there. If so, then that's great. Please hit the thumbs up. And most of all, I'll leave a video up here that I think you'll also like.